celebrates Banned Books Week. Celebrate the freedom to read. Today I will be reading the book The Giver by Lois Lowry. He heard his father laugh. Good, his father said to the woman. I thought for a moment that they might both be the exact same. Then we'd have a problem. But this one, he handed one after rewrapping it to his assistant, is six pounds even. So you can clean him up and dress him and take him over to the center. The woman took the new child and left through the door she had entered. Jonas watched his father bent over the squirming new child on the bed. You, little guy, you're only five pounds, ten ounces, a shrimp. That's the special voice he uses with Gabriel, Jonas remarked, smiling. Watch, the giver said. Now he cleans him up and makes him comfy, Jonas said. He told me. Be quiet, Jonas, the giver commanded in a strange voice. Watch. Obediently, Jonas concentrated on the screen, waiting for what would happen next. He was especially curious about the ceremony part. His father turned and opened the cupboard. He took out a syringe and a small bottle. Very carefully, he inserted the needle into the bottle and began to fill the syringe with a clear liquid. Jonas went sympathetically. He had forgotten that new children had to get shots. He hated shots himself, though he knew that they were necessary. To his surprise, his father began very carefully to direct the needle into the top of the new child's forehead, puncturing the place where the fragile skin pulsed. The newborn squirmed and wailed faintly. Why is he... Shh, the giver said sharply. His father was talking, and Jonas realized that he was hearing the answer to the question he had started to ask. Still, in the special voice, his father was saying, I know, I know it hurts, little guy, but I have to use a vein, and the veins in your arms are still too teeny-weeny. He pushed the plunger very slowly, injecting the liquid into the scalp vein until the syringe was empty. All done. What, that wasn't too bad. Jonas heard his father say carefully. He turned aside and dropped the syringe into a waste receptacle. Now he cleans him up and makes him comfy, Jonas said to himself, aware that the giver didn't want to talk during the ceremony. As he continued to watch, the new child, no longer crying, moved his arms and legs in a jerking motion. Then he went lip. His head fell to the side, his eyes half open. Then he was still. This book was The Giver by Lois Lowry. I read this book when I was about 10 or 11, and it was very important to me because it um, opened my eyes to a lot of social issues going on in the world, and it gave me the freedom to decide how I felt about them. Celebrate the freedom to read.